out Shane Storms with DroidModRX.com and as many of you guys have heard by now, Android has released the source code for 4.2. And it has been officially released for the Nexus 7 and the GSM versions of the Galaxy Nexus. But those of us on Verizon weren't so lucky because Verizon, as you guys all know, they take their time when pushing out updates to the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Uh, they have to make sure it works with their networks and they have to put in their bloatware and, you know, whatever it is. It takes two to three months to get an update from Google uh, with the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. But because of the great development community, uh, we can have 4.2 stock rooted on our device right away. Uh, the developer responsible for the stock rooted 4.2 build for the Verizon Galaxy Nexus is a developer that goes by the name Groupers. And uh, he has put together a, an install package. Um, and then also there are some 4.2G apps. So you want to make sure that you go and download those. Uh, there are the names of the the files that you need to download you can grab those from the link in the description and uh, you can install this over any firmware so any custom ROM or if you're stock you can be stock that's fine uh, the only thing that you need to be is rooted and you need to have a custom recovery installed so if you have that taken care of then you are ready to install so I'll just go to settings and show you guys that I am running a custom ROM so I'm on 4.1.2 and I'm on the liquid jelly bean uh, 2.0 release candidate 7. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and boot into recovery. As soon as we get this thing installed, I'll show you guys a few new features in 4.2. So we'll reboot into recovery. Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, either of those will be fine. Okay, so the install is very simple. You'll wipe factory reset. Then you'll wipe cache. Then you'll wipe Dalvik cache. Then you will go back, hit install. You're looking for Full Toro OTA English 4.2 R6 zip. You will swipe to flash. And as soon as that's finished, we will install the G apps and then we can reboot the device. Okay, so when it's finished, you'll see the successful screen. That took about a minute and a half to two minutes. Then we'll go back. And be sure that you do go ahead and flash the G apps or you will not have the Play Store and you won't be able to download any of the uh, any of the G apps. So the G apps you're looking for is Slim G apps 4.2.0 by Mr. Hellman and we'll go ahead and flash that. Okay, so as soon as that's finished, we can reboot the system. And as soon as this boots up, I will show you guys some of the new features in 4.2. Okay, considering that we wiped data, it did not take very long at all to boot up. It only took about a minute and a half, not even. And uh, we are presented with the welcome screen. Uh, so I'll go ahead and sign in, and when I'm done signing in, we'll come back and I'll show you guys the features of 4.2. So the first thing you'll notice is the new lock screen. Uh, easy access to the camera right off the bat. And you'll notice the new clock widget right there on the home screen. Then, of course, you can add widgets as well. Uh, simply by pressing there and you have four to start out with I'm sorry five you got the digital clock the Gmail messaging calendar and sound search and it's pretty easy to add a new widget you would simply click there and now you have a new widget on that lock screen so if we go back we have our clock then there is the sound search and if we go back over we can put another one there so here's a pretty cool thing. From the lock screen, you can go to quick settings by using two fingers and swiping down. Uh, it gives you easy access to your quick setting. That takes you to your normal settings. And if you click here, that's going to take you back to your notifications and then back to settings. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice feature to be able to access your settings directly from the lock screen and not have to uh, open into the home screen. And let's see, another feature here is the Gmail has been updated so you now have swipe away uh, and then you also have pinch to zoom okay and of course a feature that everybody's excited about is the new camera you see the new icon there if we open that uh, we do have several new features um, obviously you can't really see anything if I have it pointed at the desk but if you hold you can actually access uh, your flash mode you can turn the camera around like so and you'll see me there uh, turn it back around 
and then you can go into your camera settings and you can tap to focus okay and then if we click this little camera icon here it's gonna bring up your other settings here we have panorama mode uh, like we did in the past and there of course you know you guys know how to do that and then the new thing is photosphere I'm going to pause here and take just a few, well, I'll show you guys how to use it. Uh, it's best to use Photosphere if you kind of swivel it, because uh, your head kind of swivels. Uh, so you wouldn't want to, in other words, you wouldn't want to be holding it, you know, like this. You just kind of want to swivel it up. And then up, and just kind of keep it on a fixed axis. Like so. And then it'll have an easier time stitching things together. Obviously, when I'm close up like this, uh, it's not going to show you guys really the great example here. It's not going to stitch things together very well, but you guys sort of get the picture here as we build this picture of how Photosphere works. It's going to look awful because I'm so close to everything and because I'm moving the camera around, so it's not going to stitch things together properly. But we can go directly into the gallery, and the gallery is... See, there's one that I took... You guys can kind of see how that turned out. So that turned out pretty good. And that one didn't turn out so well. Uh, but it does take some practice. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Okay, we can go into the Clock app, and I'll show you guys some new features of the Clock app. Of course, the UI has been totally changed here. It looks a whole lot better. You can set some alarms here. And if you go over, you have a timer. Uh, so you can actually do like, let's say, you know, five seconds, and you can start and that will time you for five seconds like so and then be very annoying whenever your five seconds is up of course you have a stopwatch here looks pretty pretty cool so if we go into settings uh, you'll notice that there are no options to add extra users that will be only in the tablet uh, UI so like with your Nexus 10 your Nexus 7 you'll be able to add users, uh, multiple users for the device, but that's not happening on the phone. The reason for that is most people don't share their phones. Your phones is normally it's pretty personal to you. Uh, so most people do not share their phone with other people, whereas a tablet is kind of something for the entire family. So you'll have that multiple user interface with a tablet and not so much for the phone. If we go into settings and about phone, show you guys that we are running 4.2 on the Galaxy Nexus. And here's your build number there and the kernel version. So guys, that has been how to install 4.2 with a quick walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up like so. Subscribe right about there and leave comments below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.